all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the what uh, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot according to the information where we say it day for my table now the prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile has just lifted the flag of biafra in japan <laughs> uh, what a fast move what a fast move what a fast move uh, and um you know uh, this thing is circulating like gas and fuel <laughs> you know when you there is difference between kerosene lpg gas fuel if a tanker is carrying normal gas now that's uh, the one they call ago ago you don't need to be fear uh, because even if it catch fire it might be within that area but my people if it is fuel forget it and if na lpg um, <laughs> so the kind of fire where someone by they use that one na, na fuel fuel fire oh. imagine lifting biafra flag in japan and Japan people accepted it. And as it stands now, Biafra has a liaison center in Japan and the Biafra flag is lifted there. Well, um, this is a good move. Of course, you know that uh, the court in Enugu has also granted uh, Mazetnam the canoe uh, uh, 8 billion naira payback. They say that the Southeastern Governors Forum are supposed to pay eight billion naira to mars and nandikano and that is a big money it's just that they say that it is not in their jurisdiction to release nandikano from the bss detention because the matter had already been taken to the high court and you can see that the thing is that when chukwo kika biyama wants to do something he starts little by little first of all the first victory was the biafra referendum conference that was held in finland and from what I can see, I think that that conference opened a lot of door for the indigenous people of Biafra. Yes, because immediately after that conference was held in Finland, at the conclusion of that conference, the Enugu court gave that, that verdict on that judgment, giving Mazenan the kind of first step of victory. And if you look at it and tally it with the, uh, that convention, referendum conve uh, conference in Finland, you find that this is 2-0. <laughs> it looks as if the NIG and the Biafra are playing match and Biafra is scoring 2-0. Yes, it is not easy. And that 8 billion to Mazin and the Kano is not a small money. And for the court to have awarded him 8 billion, you will know the, the, the intricacy of this matter, how important this matter is. It shows that that man, Nam the Kano, has so much been violated. Yes. He is the victim and not the valiant. He is the victim in this matter. He has been victimized. His right has been denied. He, you know, his right to, to, you know, to self-determination. Look at the ruling of the court. The court said that self-determination is very legal. That what IPOB is pushing is what is called self-determination, which is written under the uh, uh, Nigerian constitution, ECOWAS constitution, United Nations constitution, EU constitution and the world constitution at large. So there is no way you will go and somebody will not start telling you that self-determination is illegal. It is a legal matter. It's just that uh, I say arrow, arrow bar for or all men are <laughs> It's just that uh, the case issue of injustice and using money to buy the judge in Nigeria has become a norm. Uh, because if it if it were to be in America. If it were to be in London, if it were to be in Japan, you know, that these things are happening. I think by now, things must have changed. I'm being honest with you. I had one experience the other time <coughs> that was outside the country. And something happened. I don't need to tell you the full story. But, but the outcome of the matter marveled, marveled you. Marveled me myself. Because I thought that uh, the, the case is gone because of what we are used to here in Nigeria and in Africa. And by the time we started pushing the matter, 
we did not even spend money. You find out that over there in the UK, in the West, there are people who are ready just to stand them for your matter. That is just their work. Now, as it is now, the Biafra land, the Biafra flag has been hoisted and lifted up in in in, in Japan. And look at what is happening. Uh, this man called Speed Darlington, Abby Moore, uh, Simon Eber just posted, he made a comment on him, and immediately he just got 1.2k followers on his uh, ex handle. On a behind of what Igwe Bike, Makanandi Bosonia, which the Southeastern Governors Forum are neglecting the words of our or the ancestors of Ndibo. The words of the fathers of Ndibo who gave this word and say, Onya yana one And the Southeastern Governors Forum have left this thing and things are spoiling. Now, uh, Tinubu has made appointments. Of all the ministerial appointments he made, 22 went to his people, which is a one sided government. And now people like Amechi are complaining. People like the Southeastern Governors are complaining. The people like our Hannes and Dibos Forum are complaining. Even the, the, the Niger Deltans, Asare Dokubo, that was going parambulating in the uh, in the government house in, 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 in Abuja, uh, going there doing protests, saying that Tinubu is the man, uh, that anybody that fights Tinubu has fought him, this and that, thinking that with that way uh, Tinubu will be able to favor him, forgetting that uh, the man he's dealing with is at war. And as it stands now, the man has given positions, the man has shared the ministerial offices without even including his people. And the, the office they give to one of his Karabari man is the office I don't even know. And now Asari Dokubo in turn has started blasting or Gatinubu saying ah, Tinubu is not doing it well. That is why it is always good to stand on the path of truth all the time. When this government was favoring Asari Dokubo, where, when the government of Tinubu entered, he thought that he's going to be on his favor. He was not complaining. He was praising Tinubu. He was lifting the flag of Tinubu. He was saying that Tinubu is the man that should be followed. But immediately, government turned against, uh, against Asai Dokubo. That was when the change started. He started complaining. He started blasting Tinubu online. He started making comments. Why don't you accept it that way? Because when it was favoring your, your people, you, you accepted it, you were happy about it, and you think that Ndibo themselves are foolish. The thing about uh, Ndibo, Ndibo did not understand is that Chukwo Kikabiyama is there fighting for them, but they don't know. And a, a, what is supposed to be the national cake, one particular set of people are taking it for themselves. And because the Southeastern governors, some of them bought, bought their power with money. You find out that they have no say. They don't have anything to say in that matter. Yes, they don't have anything to say. Because the power you are using, you bought it. Like the one that is happening in the Southeast now. Uh, you get one governor for one state. We'll be saying for third position, nine day. Uh, from third position, nine the man can't climb, can't become governor. <laughs> Uh, waiting they do there, the game where they play, and I hear say for the man state now, they say before you go, you go do it, you go be, put your poster as person where they can pay for street, you must pay 54 million. <laughs> I never hear that kind of thing, now for only APC government, uh, I don't they hear this kind of stuff where they happen. Uh, but God, they, uh, person where go win, go win. One thing where we say, we believe, we say, uh, and a person where God, they give victory. Now in the carry, uh, but so even that God Bible can tell us say now the violence uh, now in go take them by force. So on another information, terrorists don't bomb Jehovah Witness Convention. Oh, <laughs> uh, my people they don't share this one. They happen for where Jehovah Witness people they do their convention. Now in terrorists go there go carry bomb. Ibo why? Suspected terrorists have bombed a regional convention of Jehovah's Witness in India leaving tears and blood at religious gathering. Reporting on the tragic incident, a breaking news on JW.org, the official website of Jehovah Witness, said on Sunday, October 29, 2023, at least two bombs exploded at the regional convention 
held in Kelara, India. The incident occurred just after the opening prayer. According to the initial report, two of our sisters were killed. At least 55 individuals were injured. There were over 2,200 people in attendance. The police are currently investigating the situation. Our thoughts and prayers are with all those affected by the tragedy. Psalm 99. Commenting on the attack, Clara's Director General of Police, Davis Sabe, told reporters, we will find out who is behind this and take stringent action. Preliminary investigation shows it was an IED improvised explosive device blast. Videos filmed shortly after the explosion and posted online showed flames inside the building and rescuers helping people clear out. We are examining all angles and all we find out who is behind this. Sherab added, according to our Jazeera report, meanwhile, additional, additional Director General of Police, ADGP, Law and Order, Mr. Ajit Kumar, said during a news conference that a person named Dominic Martin, who claimed responsibility for the explosion, has surrendered at a police station in Trisudi Street, about 65 kilometers, 40 miles north from the site of the incident. The suspect is claiming that he has done it, saying that he belonged to the, some group of Saba, Kuba, told reporters, adding that police is verifying the claim. My people, I see they go now, are uh, over that Jolanjo. If they go now, before, where did they bomb now, uh, all the churches, as they don't reach Jehovah's Witness, now if you say, uh, if like say the word, one come to an end, though. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, no be laughing matter pain. Uh, make I say a uh, few, few minutes second silence uh, for the people where we say they lost their life for that bomb blast. All right, welcome back. Stay with your one and only. Don't touch that dial. Still remain there. This is where you need to be. My channel, your channel. If this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first one we'll collect. And thank you for listening. God bless you.